Hey, thank you for pressing that button. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far, you are on the last part of my tier list. This is a category where you can choose where you want to put the champions. Um, I don't really, I don't play them often enough to showcase a true advice or my point of view on them. I know some champions I've got here is really strong and actually goes in the S class and the A class. But for me, as a fun champion, I just don't play them as much. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and let's start. Okay, so we are starting on the top with the Bomb King and at the bottom we've got Cassie. The reason why I don't play Bomb King as much is because he's very ping orientated so if you're playing with 200 ping he's really difficult to play with. I know he's a very strong character, sometimes he's over powerful because he does 900 damage per um, sticky bomb but I just can't play that guy, he's very difficult and Cassie, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't like Cassie, she's, she's an OG, she's one of the oldest champions in Paladins, um, she's very strong and she can go with big game, but I, I don't feel Cassie, I don't really like playing Cassie, so yeah, that's my opinion on it. Let me know where you guys think where they should be in the A class, B class or what type of class down in the com comments below. Up next is Imani on your left and Willow on your right. Um, Imani, I actually should have played a little bit more. She's got this awesome dragon you can just put in somebody's face and melt them. Uh, I really like to play her ice cube, mine thing with jigs. I don't like the fire stand so much. So yeah, Imani is kind of very nice to play, but I haven't really put time into her, so it's it is what it is. Willow. Willow is on the edge of ping orientated, so if you have bad ping, she's also difficult to play. But she's easier than Bomb King. I actually enjoyed it when I just played with bots now. Mm, but I don't know, she was very squishy for me. So let's see. Where do you guys think where these, these characters' champions should be? Now you've got Moji on your left and Drogo's on your right. Moji, I can't play this character. For some reason, out of all 42 characters or champions, I just cannot play Moji. I die instantly, I can't produce the damage like I've seen he can do. I know people can play this character really really good, I'm just not one of them. Uh, yeah, Drogo's... Uh, He's, I don't really like Drogos because he's also a scuff player so you need a scuff to play him because the more he's in the air with your worm jets the better he is. He's not really a ground unit, he's a sky unit and therefore you need a scuff. Um, that's why I don't really play him that much but he is powerful because every shot can do a thousand damage. That's kind of crazy. Now we add Maeve on the top and Ceres at the bottom. Maeve, uh, I don't play Maeve, she's really a difficult champion to play with. You really need to put some time into it. It's not one of those cases where you can re just relax from work and come and play Paladins with Maeve. Nope, you really need to like put at least 100 hours into it to play good. She is a good champion. And then Ceres on the bottom, she is boring as a healer she's really a boring healer for me i don't really play for i don't really like to play her but for newcomers for new champions or for new players that comes into this game this is a perfect healer for you to use because she's simple to use Barrack on your left, Ying on your right. Okay, those two characters 
are probably the most picked characters in Paladins so when I started I was like okay I'm not gonna play the meta games I'm not gonna play these guys because they're always always being picked okay that's the only reason why I don't play these guys because I don't really like to play the meta quote unquote you know what I mean but they are strong um, Barrick is really easy to play he's got a lot of sustain on himself if you've got his turrets got his shield he's just all around a good tank and Ying, Ying is very nice to play you just put down your illusions and there you go you're already healed you don't need to focus on a player to heal them and then you just produce some damage so easy peasy lemon squeezy okay now we are at Zen on your left and terminus on your right uh, guys i can't give i know i know Zen is a very powerful character and sometimes just op with that below of him but i just don't like playing this guy i really don't put time on him um yeah so just go down in the comments below and say tell me yeah he's s class or he's a class i'll probably agree with him but for me he's just not a fun character to play and then terminus i don't play him because he's got no range bro he's very difficult to play um i don't know i don't feel to him man out of all the tanks he's slow he needs to like get up in the face and then do some damage so no to him is not for me but he's like the undying king okay he never dies And now we are at the last champion and that's Tiberius, the brand new champion, the latest champion in Paladins. Some say he's overpowered and get needs a nerf and that always happens with a new champion and others say he's just alright. I'm one of those who says he's just alright, okay. He's one of those characters that can just spam his ult because every time he's in his chakra form, whatever you want to call it, that form there, he can ge generate his ult so before even the first point is captured he already has an ult his ult is kind of powerful but he's very weak and vulnerable into it so <coughs> it's it's up to you guys he's brand new it's hard to put him in a class yet so i first want to get some few games with him before he can become put him in a tier list or something like that now I'd like to say thank you for watching this, thank you for being a part of all of this series. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Go down in the comments below, tell me wh which characters you choose to be in what type of classes. And yeah, stay awesome, have a nice one and cheers.